this is right saying in agreement with God and oh, having wealth God and riches come and be with you Holy Ghost, your God in the earth The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. You walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Matthew chapter 26, verse 11. You have the poor always with you, but me. You have not always who's saying this Jesus. Jesus here he's saying he's not gonna be always with them mm -hmm. who did he say would be always with them mm -hmm. the poor now two things you can glean out of this verse is that Jesus was not talking about himself being poor he said you have the poor with you but me say but me but me, but me you don't have with you now a lot of people have a problem with a not poor Jesus mm -hmm. but Jesus is not poor Amen. the poor you have with you meaning you're not poor so we don't associate with being poor mm -hmm. Jesus isn't poor and I'm not poor mm -hmm. so I don't associate with poverty and if I don't associate with poverty what must I so associate with wealth and riches Amen. right Amen. with God is God poor no. you have to be religious to think God's poor a lot of people don't know what to do with a not poor Jesus they don't know what to do with it they have no place to put it into their thinking well some are not going to get it you can face that fact how do I know that because Jesus said the poor would always be with you they're still gonna be there they just don't get it what don't they get how not to be poor they, they don't have to be poor and I'm gonna show you how to go out of that today are you here But some simply are not going to get it well they're not willing to go here not willing to go where not willing to go to riches and wealth and the blessing so if some are not going to go there some are not going to get it and they're with you it's your responsibility the ones who do get it to believe for more to take up the slack where they've missed it mm -hmm. they've missed it so for those who don't get it it's your responsibility to believe for more say more, more. say more. more take up the slack how much slack do you need to take up more right whatever they've left down that's what the slack is we need to take it up mm -hmm. because certain things are required of us and certain things take money mm -hmm. are you here yes. but it's not my job to correct everyone and often we think that it is but it's not it's my job to fulfill what I'm called to do mm -hmm. I need to fulfill my calling say my calling my calling my call you ever say it that way my call in well that's not right my call in what I call in my call in are you here I have to call it in I can't fulfill it if I don't call it in and I'm calling in more that takes up the slack for people who haven't called it in mm -hmm. so what are you calling in I guarantee you if you're not believing for prosperity and you don't believe God's a God of prosperity you're not calling in wealth and riches 
and if not somebody else has to take up the slack for you I don't have a problem with it because I know I can take up the slack say I know I, know. I can take up take the slack and I'm willing to do it I'm gonna ask you some questions are you called to wealth now if you if you know the scriptures you'll know the answer to that but you have to answer it yourself are you one of those poor that will always be with everybody else or are you one taking up the slack and you're called to wealth and you're calling in calling in wealth are you called to wealth listen you're called to wealth say I'm called to wealth say I'm called to wealth question is it God's will for you to be blessed that seems simple right mm -hmm. it's God's will for you to be blessed mm -hmm. well in the blessing is Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it are you called to be blessed or are you called to be cursed mm -hmm. make up your mind make a decision make a choice say I'm called, I'm called to be, be blessed. blessed if you're called to be blessed this here says the blessing of the Lord it makes something it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it that's what you're called to Amen. how rich it doesn't say it says the blessing of the Lord makes rich so can you be more blessed or less blessed you have to make the decision to be more blessed to take up the slack mm -hmm. say I choose, I choose to be more, more, blessed. more blessed. blessed say more blessed more blessed. More blessed. more blessed so you say it's God's will for you to be blessed well how blessed more blessed well how blessed are you now I'm, I'm pretty blessed mm -hmm. is there more there's more blessing mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. well see now if the blessing of the Lord makes rich he must have the ability to make you rich mm -hmm. and if he does that it's a blessing right God blessing you makes you rich mm -hmm. do you know this is foreign to a lot of people that God blessing you makes you rich how could it be because they've been relig religiously twisted to think that poverty is of God mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19 I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live mm -hmm. well he says you know you're supposed to choose life choose blessing who does the choosing do. you do the choosing he even told you what to choose mm -hmm. choose life and blessing and the blessing we know of the Lord makes you rich mm -hmm. so you can choose to be blessed you can choose to be made rich by the blessing now I won't have you turn there but Proverbs 13 22 says a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children that's more than enough for you more than enough for your children and more than enough for their children right yes. is that more than just enough to get by yes. that's being blessed made rich made wealthy it's his will well he says that you will be you will you will leave an inheritance because you're blessed to your children's children that means how much you'll have left over mm -hmm. your estate when you're all done 
will be enough to divide and make everybody happy <laughs> right mm -hmm. do people argue over the estate of a poor man no. no does the poor man's estate cover all the needs of his his children and their children's children no, no. We're talking about it being God's will that you prosper. We're talking about being more blessed. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth. Who gives power to get wealth? God gives power to get wealth if it's not his will he wouldn't give you power to get wealth mm -hmm. he gives power to get wealth get that settled if you serve God and he blesses you included in that blessing will be power to get wealth is wealth evil it could not be evil if God's gonna give you power to get it get that straight God's not giving you power to get something evil he's giving you power to get wealth which is good it's coming from him yes. and wealth is more than more than enough to get by a lot of people are just getting by and thank God for it mm -hmm. right because when you're not getting by well, that's what you're praying about is God help me to get by mm -hmm. But if you went and opened up his cupboards cupboards it, there would be no cans of get by in them you know what's in them cans of more than more than enough that's the one you have to open up mm -hmm. so what we're talking about is being more blessed say being, being. More, blessed. more blessed we're supposed to choose this say I choose, I choose being, being more, blessed. more blessed we have the ability to choose it mm -hmm. I can choose blessed or cursed I can choose life or death and there is a verse of scripture that says life and death is in the power of the tongue we'll talk about that in a little bit but that's how we choose yes. well I choose to believe this I choose to believe this about God that God is a God of wealth and that he gives me power to get wealth I choose to believe it and the Holy Ghost said to me he said follow me and I will make you rich follow me and I will make you rich it's who he is it's what he does we see it in the word it's what he does it's a very easy thing for him to do if you get your act together mm -hmm. you have to choose it he's not gonna do it for you if you don't choose it he's looking at you going what's it gonna be choose make a choice mm -hmm. don't sit on the line well it might be might not be no it either is or it isn't straighten up choose life choose blessing choose to be wealthy so wealthy that you take up the slack for all of those people who just don't get it and will never get it Jesus said you'd still have them with you mm -hmm. I'd call them freeloaders but I won't do that <laughs> follow me and I'll make you rich you got to be willing to have your thinking changed you got to be willing to have your believing changed and you got to be willing to have your acting change the way you act the things you think the things you believe and the way you act all must be changed you must come to this belief that you are a person of wealth say I have to, I have to. Come, to come to believe that I am a person, a person. of wealth I believe it his will for you his will it's what he wants it's what he wants it's what he wants for you for you 
say for me that's me choosing i see his will and then i choose to follow his will and change my thinking and my believing and then my acting mm -hmm. i'm a person of wealth i choose to be a person of wealth mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. this becomes your new belief this becomes who you are this is this becomes the way you talk and thankfully your belief comes to you your belief is changed by the way you talk we know that here right what you say is how you believe and how you believe is how you say so your talking has to change mm -hmm. god gives me power to get wealth try that god gives me, god gives power, me. Power, power to get wealth, to get wealth. so i'm a guy now with my thinking believing and acting that has god's power on him to get wealth mm -hmm. i might not know what it is thankfully you came tonight because i'm going to tell you about it mm -hmm. but that power to get wealth is on you say the power to get wealth, power to get wealth is, on is on me that's a different way of thinking than 90 percent of the body of christ you understand that though right mm -hmm. deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 17 says thou and thou say in thine heart my power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth but you're not supposed to say that mm -hmm. say say that. say that what are you supposed to say that it is god that gives me power to get wealth mm -hmm. that's what you say say that's what i say that's what so here we find God's number one way and number one power of getting you into wealth and getting wealth to you is by saying in agreement with his word Amen. saying calling talking to money mm -hmm. talking to money yet yeah, talking to it calling it the way God said it remember God said let there be light and there was light yes. so like God we say let there be money and there's money mm -hmm. we have to talk to it mm -hmm. say I have to talk to it I have to talk to it's you. God's number one way I'll get into some of the other things but it's number one way for him to get you into wealth and get wealth into you and to you is by saying and calling Romans chapter 10 and verse 6 says but the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise verse 8 says but what saith it the word it's in thy mouth mm -hmm. what's the righteousness of faith the righteousness of faith says something yes. what does it say what saith it the word meaning you're saying in agreement with God and he calls that the righteousness say righteousness, righteousness. of faith yes. Romans chapter 4 17 speaking of Abraham he said he called things that be not as though they were mm -hmm. by Abraham calling for something that was not yet present as though it was he called for it say he called for it and when he called for it god said that was the righteousness of faith i realize that'd be a whole nother message but i'm trying to bring you up to a place here yes. that calling for it is god's number one power to get wealth that he's already given you mm -hmm. oh god i wish you'd give me the power to get wealth he already gave it to you you need to start calling yes. what are you calling for <laughs> poverty no you call it like God calls it mm -hmm. you say it like God said it mm -hmm. say the blessing of the Lord, of the Lord makes, me makes me rich, rich. Yes. when you say that you're calling for what he said that's the righteousness of faith you're calling for being made rich mm -hmm. you call wealth and riches you call it you say wealth and riches come be be wealth and riches come be 
are you here yes it's god's number one way to get anything to you frankly but it's his number one way to get wealth and riches to you say to get it to me to get it to you you've got to call it Amen. it's listening for you it will obey you what are you gonna tell money to do go away from you I never have enough I never have enough I wish I had enough I never have enough by the end of the week my money's all gone shame on you never say that again you're working against what God's trying to get to you he's given you the power to get by you saying that you're choosing to not have enough you choose by the words you say say I have more than enough I have, more than enough. I have abundance and no lack money just comes to me from every direction it's too much God didn't go outside when it was dark and say Ooh, it's dark out here did he no. well you're a child of God you're a child of the light you call for the light you call for what you want mm -hmm. you say it like the word says it I'm blessed I'm made rich yeah but I don't feel blessed I don't feel rich who, who asked you about how you feel That's right. God didn't and I'm not change what you say and it will change how you feel mm -hmm. change what you say and you'll start believing that you're a rich person regardless of your bank account mm -hmm. and then what happens it comes mm -hmm. it's already moving. listen it's already moving if you've been saying the things that we were saying tonight it's already moving towards you mm -hmm. don't stop it psalms 112 praise ye the lord blessed is the man that fears the lord we know that that word fear is often translated worship mm -hmm. the worships of the lord and delights greatly in his commandments his seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be cursed no. what no shall be blessed what do we know a blessing is the blessing of the Lord makes something makes rich verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house mm -hmm. try that on for size wealth, wealth and riches, and riches shall, be shall be in my house, in my house. what's it doing now that you said that it's moving in your direction it's trying to hunt you down wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever what's the righteousness of faith his saying the things he said in agreement with god the holy ghost how did the wealth and riches get in his house because of his righteousness mm -hmm. his saying this is right this is righteous this is the righteousness saying in agreement with God and having wealth and riches come and be with you say wealth and riches, wealth and riches shall, be. shall be when you're saying that you are righteous and you're saying and practicing the righteousness of faith mm -hmm. and it shall be what if I say it don't shall be it won't ever be maybe for them but not for me then you've chosen to be one of the poor that's always with us don't choose that so wealth is listening to you it has an ear mm -hmm. what are you going to say to it I say wealth and riches be in my mm -hmm. be in come in this is the number one power to get wealth some of you heard that and I hope that you did God's number one power to get wealth is in the saying that it shall be for me 
say it shall be, it shall be. For, me. for me it's listening to you and it's listening to what you say but most times people are saying go away again we are talking about being more blessed how to be more blessed you might be blessed right now and i hope that you are but there's more and there's a way to be more blessed and the the first thing that i've said was you need to call more mm -hmm. more blessed more blessed, more blessed. More blessed. see there's no end to it you must say and call for it you call it like god calls it when he says you're blessed and made rich you say you're blessed and made rich yes. say i'm blessed, I'm blessed. and made rich, and made rich. And money comes to you now if you do this Acts chapter 20 verse 35 you remember the words of the Lord Jesus how he said it is more blessed mm -hmm. to give than to receive now here he says what more blessed I want to be more blessed I want to be and more blessed means made rich more it is more blessed to give than to receive mm -hmm. now there must be a reason or he wouldn't have said this the number one we must first believe it's God's will for you to be wealthy and rich number two we must say for it and call for it mm -hmm. that will work that will work that will work and is working now if you do it mm -hmm. But if you do it at some point the Holy Ghost is gonna move on you to start giving and it'll be a lot more than you ever thought you could give but that's good because that means he's bringing you more to give who gives big but rich people at some point he will begin leading you to give more you're believing wealth you're speaking wealth so don't be surprised when he begins leading you into giving more he's setting you up he's setting you up for an increase I've learned this I learned this a long time ago I love it when the Holy Ghost moves on me to give and it's almost immediate when I mean we can give intentionally and so seed intentionally and we should but when he moves on you to give get a big grin on your face because something's about to take take place and to happen in your finances yes i've seen it happen over and over again i'm just letting you know if you're going to go down this road of believing that god's a god of wealth and that he wants you to be wealthy mm -hmm. and you start calling for it don't be surprised when he moves on you to start giving some things yes. and giving bigger to get more blessed is to give mm -hmm. yeah. say to get more blessed, get more blessed. Is, to is to give if I want to get more blessed I will be led to give yes. expect him to begin speaking to you about giving and about giving more I knew you were gonna when you started talking about this you were gonna start talking about giving because you want people to give to you I'm not trying to get you to give me your money I'm simply telling you the words that the Holy Ghost told me to say and there's faith in it and if you can hear the faith that's in it and it will allow you to rise up to a different place a different place of wealth where you have not been yet but you're being called to mm -hmm. and I have never told anyone that they had to give me money but if you're going down this road you'll end up giving and you'll end up giving big mm -hmm. that should make you happy yes. but I am good ground by the way because I believe these things I practice these things people are blessed by their association with me and this ministry 
the blessing that's on me comes on you money just comes to me it just comes to me why does money come to me because I say it does and I give bigger and I give bigger and I give I get bigger all the time this is in line with what Jesus was saying it's more blessed how do you get more blessed by giving Luke 6 38 give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that you meet with all it shall be measured to you again and the measure is the way it's measured to you so if you're used to just giving in tens of dollars how will it be measured back to you you'll get some tens is there anything wrong with getting tens no. I like it I like ten dollars right tens of dollars what if you give in hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. it will be measured back in hundreds what if you give in thousands how's it gonna come back thousands, thousands. Mm -hmm. again I'm not trying to make you give me money no one's required to give me money but I'm telling you from my own experience when I give in tens I reap in tens when I give in hundreds I reap in hundreds when I give in thousands I reap in thousands and it takes faith to go up every single time being a rich believer looks a little bit different than just being a rich person in the world it's not just about having a bunch of stuff not wrong to have a bunch of stuff you will eventually have a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. but that's not what it's all about Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 19 and 20 lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth he said lay not up on earth but you still lay it up first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. the living God gives you richly all things to enjoy verse 18 that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to distribute willing to communicate distribute and communicate what mm -hmm. wealth the wealth they have so God can take it away and make them poor mm -hmm. is that why no he says look at this verse 19 laying up in store for themselves you're giving in order to have that seed multiplied greater back because Jesus said it's more blessed Say, when I give, when I, give I, expect I expect to be, to be more blessed, more blessed. that's righteousness that's the righteousness of faith the problem is if you're old poverty puss mm -hmm. then you're not expecting to be blessed when you give laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against what the time to come what's the time to come tomorrow you're gonna have more tomorrow Amen. when I distribute when I give when I communicate I'm expecting to have more tomorrow I'm more blessed mm -hmm. you asked you want to be more blessed this is how you get more blessed so listen there may be a period of time where you don't drive the best car the new car the car that you wanted or you don't live in the biggest house that you want that you will eventually get in there may be a period of time where you're keeping your expenses low so that you have the opportunity to give more say so give more give more you're trying to get us to give more yeah I'm trying to get you to give more 
i'm trying to get you to see that the key to being more blessed is those other things that i talked about knowing that god is a god of prosperity and speaking in agreement with his word and then sowing in line with that mm -hmm. so that you're more blessed because there's no end to it it can go as big and as far and as great as you're willing to go mm -hmm. give more expecting to be more blessed your time is coming money's listening to you it's obeying you i know some of us are givers this really you know but this is for people who just have not gone here yet they have to make the choice to go here second corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 but this i say he which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly he that sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully mm -hmm. every man according what as he purposes as he chooses are you here yes. i'm not making this stuff up you can choose to go here or you can choose to not mm -hmm. i've seen both sides of it mm -hmm. i've seen people choose to not and they get less and less and less and dry up and go away and i've seen people who choose to more and more and more mm -hmm. and they get more blessed and more blessed every man according as he purposes in his heart so let him give am i preaching the bible you'd wonder sometimes so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity for god loves god loves a cheerful giver mm -hmm. yes. and verse 8 god is able to make all grace abound towards you who's he able to make all grace abound toward the one who cheerfully abundantly gives god is able to make all grace abound towards you towards you mm -hmm. that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work now he that ministers seed to the sower and ministered both bread for your food and multiplies the seed you didn't sow no. god multiplies the seed you sow well how can he do it he he can't afford it because he's he's a poor god no he multiplies the seed you sow and it's your choice are you here mm -hmm. he multiplies the seed you sow and increases the fruit of your righteousness he increases the fruit of your saying what are you saying mm -hmm. if you're saying the wealth and riches shall be in my house when you sow he multiplies the seed you sow and he increases the fruit of those words that you said we're talking about being more blessed god gives seed to the sower he gives seed to the person who won't sow it mm -hmm. is that what it says yeah. he gives seed to the sower people who learn to sow according to the spirit of god will be giving more and more and more in these end days and they shall rise up way above everybody else but that's okay they've learned how to walk with me says the spirit of the lord they've learned how to be free and generous with the things that i've given them and i shall establish them in my wealth in my position many will exalt them many will, will look up to them and follow them because of it we worship you holy ghost for it we thank you for that he gives seed to the sower say i'm a sower, I'm a sower. if i say i'm a sower then god will give seed to me to sow and then what will he do he'll multiply 
that seed sown and increase the fruit of my saying mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. what if i stop that off i don't say i don't sow i don't believe what's going to happen to you you're going to be one of the poor this is with everybody else are you seeing this power to get wealth that god has given every one of us yes. he will fulfill that word in you cause you to rise up yes. to the level of the word mm -hmm. so we believe these things based on chapter and verse i'm not making this stuff up it is god's will for you to prosper his power for you to do that is to speak and call for it call for the money to come call for the scriptures to be made manifest in your life wealth and riches shall be and then as you do that he will begin to lead you into giving and when you give he'll multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of the things you're saying and so shall it be you shall be great in these last days we give you all the glory and praise holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people that that anointing is on them and they shall rise up and be great in the kingdom of god we worship you and praise you in jesus name amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you. I thank you that you are a God of wealth. And that as I serve you, I shall enter into greatness of wealth, greatness of prosperity, and be able to serve you even more. I call myself more blessed in Jesus' name. The Father Amen. is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God needs.